It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people met... He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. Yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. Yeah. Uh, who's the... Uh, who's driving this? That's Sea Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Yeah, I, um, did notice that. It's a little hush-hush, but she's dropping us off and then doing a, uh, miscount on the way back. So we can spend the night. But yeah, we're old friends. Embarrassingly old friends. Like... Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play it. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their... Fine, just hold the camera out. Like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk. Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? Here's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh. Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We 
must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right. My other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... That... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. So Come let's... on, Jonas, this is... Let's just all go up. I don't want to send Ren away like a deer hound. Yeah, it's fine. And you can talk to Alex later. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah, fine, sure, no problem. Okay, speed redefinition of Edwards Island. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. What? The town? I like it. I like kitschy stuff. It's like the opposite of ugly, scratchy nature. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Improper acts? What does that even mean? Soaping windows? Yeah, I don't think that'll get us tossed in the stockade. Does this go anywhere? More closed doors or trees? I don't know, but it's not where we're going. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, Whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. So yeah, we brought the radio because in the cave you can hear a bunch of spooky crap. Really? Really? No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Or it's aliens. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. So, this is cool. What is it? It's a memorial for a sunken submarine. Alex, tune to 102.3 so we can hear the guy. It's kind of a weird little, like, feature of the island where you can hear fast. Uh, okay. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. The USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. Its propeller the was the one James thing recovered, Flatman. so they made it on into like a monument. The crew are listed on the plaque thing. The you know way too much Kokosata, about this stuff, Ren. Jesus. I'm excited to be here doing this, finally. To this day, okay? So sue me. I study. In American waters. But yeah, Maggie Adler, that's the it. God the only person who lives here. She's never left the island. January 15th, 1941, and that woman won the life lottery. Tower. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'd get bored with the same scenery. This, oh, hey, this is the Parks and Facilities office. Didn't... Didn't your sister Allison work here? Allie? Yeah, she did for a few years, actually. 
Easy money, since nobody's allowed in the parks and barely anybody here needs facilities. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... All right, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Thank you, I will. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. Ugh, I'm sorry, we'll stop. Yeah, this'll be fun, don't worry. Even if Alex is a listless drifter ruining her own life. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm... ...blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal? Ren, relax. Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog and can't understand. Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new-in-town, fresh-as-a-daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, uh, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> hey! What about me? What about you? Just never mind. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah.
Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm-hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... Oh, liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? (laughs) I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. Can we... You told me you liked her. Why did you even try to cover... You knew I knew. I'm standing right here. Because I asked you to be cool about it, and now you're being, like, whatever the complete opposite of cool is. Hot! But in a bad way. All right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this is happening. This really doesn't. (laughs) Ha ha! Not even my birthday. Yeah, everything's coming up, Alex, isn't it? Ow! (laughs) (laughs) Jeez, I didn't think you had it in you. Yeah, she's full of surprises. Backstabbing surprises. So, Alex's turn? Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Clarissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. What's your worst fear? That Santa Claus is really coming to town. Seriously? Dying with too many regrets, probably? I don't know. That seems reasonable. I guess. I kind of get that, actually. Yeah, we're practically sisters. I can feel it. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... Is there, like, a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I I don't... I don't really need to know the situation before. It's... What are you talking about? What is this even... What does this have to do with anything? Why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce, just that- You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it, the end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- Let's not stop like this. We should like- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could- And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we- What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt, or playing Ring Around the Rosie, happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. (sighs) Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very clingy, Ren. (sighs) 
Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you wanna check out the caves, or? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot, we never talked about John. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh... So, they the went cave. To that weird What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm, probably a five? Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> all right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, and what the hell was up with you and the whole Nona thing with the gang? I mean, okay, fine, fun is fun. But I'm trying to get in with this girl, and it was as if you liked making me look like an idiot. It's a game called Truth or Slap, Ren. It's supposed to be a goof. I thought you'd laugh. Why would I laugh at that? It really sucked, actually. I'm sorry. I am. I, I was just trying to have fun. I didn't know you would take it so seriously. Well, I am. I mean, I do, but it's fine. I'll just have to work the old Ren charm even stronger now. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. I heard that. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me! Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm, well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here, and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How, how is this, how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy then, cause I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me, not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Yeah, it did to me. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. So, yeah, it sounds, uh... It sounds, like, painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. 
Famous last words. Famous last words. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange, dark, wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna... Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute. Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. Are you all right? Shout if you're, like, bleeding or something. bring an ashtray down here or a pen see a man about a dog sure will do didn't you hear no. me calling for you Jesus, you scared me I scared you? You scared me! I had no idea where you were! I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, at this point, if we stay, we're just idiots, right? We're just the horror movie morons the audience screams at to leave. <laughs> no. Maybe. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Can we just go, please? I really don't like it here. <sighs> yeah, okay, we can go. Lead the way. Thank you.
Is this... Th this can't be the way we came in, right? We must have doubled back the wrong way somehow, or... Oh my god, this is the way we came in. Alex, come on, that's not possible. It's just... wall. Uh, where's the crack we crawled through? There's no other... This is it, Jonas. This is the way. If it's not here, then where? We didn't miss it. I don't know where it is. I have no idea. Let's just go back the other way. We got in. There has to be a way out. No, there really doesn't. Let's just ignore that. Easier said than done. Just don't think about things. <sighs> Same everywhere. There's no other exit. I know, I know. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did do you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave triangle rainbows? Uh, maybe? Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so I guess anything's possible. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? I wish this was a door. Yeah, me too. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. Oh my god. 
Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Uh... I... I think... I can't even... Like... What is... What? insane uh who are are you who are you on the listen bob tail she tail sleeping time is possible um yeah sure leave possible bob tail leave children bye see you soon alex Alex! Alex! Alex? <sighs> Are you okay? You all right? Uh, what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren, sure, but does that list really include Clarissa? I'm not saying leave her, but I just want to get this whole escape thing moving. We can't leave anybody behind. They're here somewhere. This is not... This is not a thing. Okay. Okay. Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> that would explain why I remember it. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de-pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. Jonas, believe me, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not that cruel. <sighs> okay, well, I hope so. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Wait, Jonas, seriously, like, what just happened? My radio, I guess, opened something, and that something did something else. And that something was really friggin' scary and horrible, so let's just skip to the part where we get off the island and start suppressing it in therapy. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably heard all the noise and ran off instead of trying to come help us. Great. It's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. <clears throat> well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. Uh, 
SOS, Mayday, Mayday, um, CQD? CQD? Come quick, danger. It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? I don't think so. Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. <sighs> you don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? Sounds a little different than what we're on Why right- Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um, I don't know. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Well, I will, and have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nope. Ah! Ah! Jesus! Hello? Alex? Alex? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I... you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> it's still... Ben, just... it's been a rough night, you know? How'd you get this number? It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEF CON... are you all right? Like, physically... All right, because I know mentally you're no, probably... No, I'm not all right. I mean, do I sound all right or do I sound not all right? I probably sound not all right, right? Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they Wait, do... Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm going to see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering it? This... It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. Okay, look, Clarissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, wait, then... wait. I, I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't yeah, care. Yeah, sure. We'll be over there in a minute. Okay, just hurry, okay? There's like... I don't know. I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told Clarissa we're coming, so want to truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Uh, yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. My thoughts exactly. Alright, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like... The badasses we are. Yeah. Righteous.
How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Just checking, you know? Okay. How are you? Uh, could be better, but we'll get through this and on to bigger and better? Good talk. This is the Sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS Kanaloa, the fort's spirit will always be that of the watchful sentry. Steady, protective, and ever vigilant of enemies both foreign and domestic. This is the Sentry, sculpted by Lieutenant Peter Ham. I guess it's for the sentries they stationed here during the war. Hey, I don't know if you noticed when we were home, but you can see the statue from my bedroom. This always used to creep me out as a kid. I guess it's a bomb strike shelter, which is different from a fallout shelter because of something. Were they really scared of getting bombed here? It was the war, so... And Europe was getting turned to cinder blocks, so I think it made everybody jumpy. This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above-ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. This Hey, you remember them talking about Maggie Adler? The woman who died? This goes to her house. Oh, uh, must be a nice spread. Yep. Rich old bag had everything, right? Can't take it with you, honey. Huh? What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... See that sign? They were originally going to make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look very, uh, safe, so I can understand why. Wren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people? Like, 
in there, like doing stuff. What are you even talking about right now? Just, what if all the stuff that's like happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is like the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some um, experimental uh, program or something? Sure. I mean, I'm kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on, so... Yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. It's just my going premise right now, so... I don't know. Keep a tally. Fort Milner was the home of the U.S. Army Radio Communication School, which saw more than 100,000 students take its curriculum. During the years it was open, the school trained troops from the various armed services in applied oral communication, radio and TV broadcasting, telecommunications, and what was then state-of-the-art techniques in code breaking using an early form of computer technology. The school was moved to Fort Baxter in Southern California when the post closed in 1974, and it still resides there to this day. Spooky. Yeah. You ever fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to, either. Why not? I mean, isn't that like a guy thing? Cowboys and gangsters? I can't ride a horse, and banks make me nervous. I like football. I think that's enough. It's just my going premise right now, so... Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Oh, well, they're not messing around. Does the fine... Yeah, that sign's old. Like, back when we were fighting Nazis old. Still, it's a little disconcerting. That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio man for the Sure. No, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Oh, uh, really? Yes, really. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... What sort of thing? What do you mean? You know, like, intense, I guess is the word I'm trying to find. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start. 
There must have been something, right? It's not a trick question, Jonas. She's been the homecoming queen every year since she grew boobs. And he'd been the captain of every sports team he'd ever played on. It was practically an arranged marriage. Huh. Okay. Ah, uh, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of... I don't know. Kind of morbid. Yeah, it's... It's just strange to see it like this. Stuff like this, I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like... I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Well, right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so... In the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. It's got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No. We need, like, bolt cutters or something. Or the code. What happened? Are you all right? Jonas, are you okay in there? Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. The door opened, like, a second ago. Can't you... Are you sure you're just not turning the knob the right way, or...? I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? Ow! I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out. Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Don't let Jonas talk to his mom. It's not good for him. His mom's... dead. I know his mom's dead. W what is... And, I mean, you saw Clarissa too, right? Like, that wasn't just me, because there's, like, nothing in here. There's no way she could have, like... There's no back. You know, I never wanted to be a oh. DJ. And this oh, isn't really no enticing one. me to start, but I can sort of see the appeal now, you know? But I'd be a horrible talk radio guy, like, just giving opinions. I wouldn't know what to say, really. I wouldn't want to do it anyway. It'd be like a slow, horrible death by anxiety or something, talking to all those listeners. And they have to get up at, like, 3 a.m., right? Those guys, those, those talk radio guys, to start at, like, 5? I'd be, I'd be, like, the late night, like, the, the late night old rock guy. And they'd, like, keep me on the books to, like, you know, point out for credibility. Hey, we don't just play the pop crap. We got Mummy on from midnight to two, and he sometimes plays bad fingers. So what's your problem? Okay, well, whenever you're ready to, tell me how to get out of here. Just go ahead and yell it. Thank you. Oh, oh yeah. I'm the wild just happened cuz that that sucked it's a i guess a one way lock i just was 
One thing would work here like anything works out in the real world. Oh, here's the code for the, uh, for the padlock. 3418. It's on a list of... Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I... Did, did you see that? In... in the mirror? The reflection... was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now, so... Wait, seriously? I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. Okay. Make it snappy. Get it? I'm choosing not to get it. In anything. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so let's just carry on. Ah, oh, gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I oh thought- Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. This is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. My vacant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. Clarissa! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? Clarissa, come back. We came to help you. Don't... Ugh. Hello? Is this thing... is this... God, is this... is this going out or... Wait, I can... Oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not... Man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but whatever. She still has a radio, so we still gotta get to her. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. Clearly, it's the, uh, the evil, obviously. First they finger paint, then they wear our lungs like scarves. Yeah, well, somebody's got to keep the traditions alive. Orderly. What was that? Orderly. You, you heard that, right? High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. It's one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey, kids. Wanna play a game? Ah. Uh. What is it doing? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a fort. Seven. U.S. Army Radio Communication School. That's the stuff, Charlie. Now you're swinging. It all goes into your final rating. You want to get a good rating, don't you? You want to be a good soldier? Why the hell would we want to be a good soldier? Yeah, sure, if that's... If that's what you want. Excellent! Oh, Jesus. 
What is going on? Ugh, I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? Who Ten. would know that? This isn't World War Nine. II. Nobody calls anything any call codes cookies? There. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Okay, look. Is this a trick? Is whatever I'm gonna say gonna bite me in the ass no matter what? Because if that's the case, then... Watch your language, young lady. There's no room for sass in the armed forces. Oh, screw you! This is... We are an island race. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. Jonas, are, are you, uh, doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencils ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships. Nine. To sail them. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. Fifty-three? You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. Man, I didn't need to get that far. States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Is this? Are you the dead officers? That sunk on the Canaloa? We are uh, sunken. What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just time. What? I. That was not fun. Are you feeling better? I'm feeling. Let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um... Uh, huh? Cross your fingers. Uh, Clarissa... Oh my god, you actually came. I mean, it did take you long enough, but still, good. I've been sitting, fumbling around with this stuff. I don't know how to work this crap. Um, are you all right? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but 
You just sounded really distressed, that's all. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a way... Any officers who know your problems form well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh, wait. What? We already did this. You already said that. Did I? Clarissa! Is there anything, like, can we come? Oh, sorry. <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? Or not? We keep doing the same. We've, we've gone through this door, like, twice now, and it, it keeps... The events keep changing. Are you feeling okay? Cuz... Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the, the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kinda work, so we should be home free. Clarissa! Clarissa, it's us. It's Alex. Are you okay? Alex, don't worry. What is the matter with her? I am an American. Clarissa! There will be other ships. And other souls to sail them. Oh my god! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not... It's not like we're... She... She was... She was like possessed. I... I, I just... I, I just... Uh, this is... Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't... I don't even know what to... We... We should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them. Or... Or how to tell them. I mean... Uh, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we... She knows me. This can't... Oh, God. And just the fact that I'm the one who... Who was here. And... God. We'll... We'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both saw what happened. Wait, that... she, she's, uh, I can't think of the appropriate word here. Dead? The word is dead. She should be dead, Alex. I watched her. There was no breaking that fall, so how'd she walk away? This is impossible, cuz... Hallucination? Dual hysteria? I, I don't, I don't know, Jonas. Well, regardless, good news... Yeah, we'll see.